The first lady asserted that if God grants life, as he has done for the older generation, they must run, not just walk, to catch up with the young people. This is to help them thrive and fulfill their potential, rather than succumb to despair. She recalled Mwali Mnyere's words when trying to governize Africans. While others walk, Africans must run to catch up with the rest of the world. Looking at what has happened to Kenya, that can happen to anybody. That's why we don't have the time. We need to work now and work all the time and stretch out our hands and hold hands you know, across these universities and have one purpose that is driving all of us to ensure that we will not allow Uganda to go back ever as long as we have life and we are here. We all believe that God is with us and God doesn't want us to continue going back and forth like During a meeting held in Nakasero, the minister discussed the private sector foundation Uganda's willingness to raise funds and support the Emerging Leaders Program. This initiative, spearheaded by the First Lady, focuses on values, character development, and life skills training for young people. It is being implemented in partnership with Makero University, Life Ministry Uganda, and the Global Leadership Summit. Mrs. M7 acknowledged the country's youthful population as a blessing. However, she highlighted the responsibility of older generations to guide, inspire and model the right values and choices for a prosperous future and nation. For me, I always feel like we have really betrayed God because God blessed Africa so much with so much resources that are there at our disposal, but they will be processed by other people and taken away while we remain poor and forever waiting for others to help us. And when they don't help, we are in trouble. Barbara Kaija expressed appreciation to the Private Sector Foundation for their willingness to support the development of young emerging leaders. She reported that with support from President Museven and the First Lady, the program has conducted value-based training for Makere student leaders and lecturers, as well as an orientation for over 1,300 new students. This is a cause that affects all of us, especially uh, as business people, and we're cognizant of the, the importance of putting faith into our young people and nurturing the correct young people because this is our workforce for tomorrow. Our cardinal existence as PSFU is to create an enabling environment for businesses to thrive. Hmm. It's only fair for us to give back and also create an enabling environment for our children and the people around us. Reporting for UBC, Agma William.